Kyle Dubas has officially released a statement. So we will start with said statement, which he released on Twitter earlier today. He said, while I understand there is interest surrounding the circumstances of my departure, I will not get into the specifics of what I consider to be reasonable and consistent, but private discussions. In the days that I felt I needed to assess and evaluate my own view to the future, both with respect to the necessary direction of the club and ensuring that I had the full support of my family for what I knew would be required in the offseason and years to follow the organization as is their right to do decided to go in a different direction he went on to say in the statement um, that he appreciated his time there he thanked a lot of the staff uh, not just within the front office but he mentions the ushers and everybody else uh, that was a part of his time during nine years with the Toronto Maple Leafs organization even prior to his five years as the general manager so Ej, uh, I'll start with you on this one uh, what stands out to you about Kyle Dubas and and what he had to say today in that statement well I mean he didn't really first of all he didn't refute anything that Brendan Shanahan said in this timeline so I guess we're just gonna have to take that as that's what happened right so he didn't refute you didn't say anything was different he did make the uh, he did make the statement uh, that you know we're talking about he would he was hoping that the Leafs maybe wouldn't come out with this information I guess because he was talking about it being private so I get that, too. But, I mean, at the end of the day, this is the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's a big story. And, and I think, again, I think it was genius for Brendan Shanahan to go through the TikTok of it because what's going to happen? There's going to be leaks. There already are leaks. And I would say, dare say, they're from the Dubas camp about, like, well, Shani wouldn't let us do this or do that. Right? So Shanahan took complete control of the narrative, in my view. And, uh, you know, he laid it out. And... Kyle Dubas put out his statement today. He didn't refute anything, so I'm going to take it for what it is. And, you know, both sides are kind of moving on now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of a pretty vanilla statement. Uh, you're, are, you're speechless. Are probably. they moving on? Or are we going to continue this soap opera forever? Like, what are we yeah. doing here? Well, why do we need to hear? Why is there a statement? You, why is there even a statement from Dubas? He's obviously being interviewed elsewhere. I don't understand any of this. I don't understand. They're airing it all out. It just, I think, in my opinion, it makes the whole organization look childish. It yeah. doesn't make them look good. Yeah. And, and, I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, he's a brilliant hockey mind. He's sought after. He's getting interviews. Well, I don't know if I it's obvious. But, I mean, he's done, you know, he's, at the, he's a GM. He's right, done whatever. well. He's, he's learned to do after. better. I Listen, mean, I don't, people are interested. I wouldn't build a team the way he did, but that's, yeah. I'm not, I, I'm that's nowhere right. near that. But well, it doesn't matter. Maybe they should ask, get you involved. No, I don't, I got, you know, I got kids. <laughs> but the well, point I'm saying let, is it doesn't make sense this, to Brian. me. All right, go ahead, Jackie. I was just gonna. I was just asking, and obviously none of us can get into the minds of Austin yeah. Matthews and Mitch Marner right. and the core players that are playing in Toronto. But as a former player, Brian, you know, how do you think this could potentially impact the players? I mean, maybe, maybe they don't care. Maybe they're out. They're playing golf. They don't, they don't care who the GM is. Whatever. They're just gonna show up and play hockey. But do you think that it something like this, when there's drama and obviously some sort of rift that has happened between the president and the now former general manager with contracts looming no move clauses kicking in on July 1st like do you think this impacts how the players feel maybe even outside of the core group I, I, I don't know just as a former player do you think the guys are talking about what's going on right now do you think it impacts the players in any way they're definitely talking about it on the group chat but like who's our personnel <laughs> who, who are my line mates going to be what's our team going to look like who's saving the puck who's coaching us that's what players care about because they want to win they have good players. So if you get more players that are good or you tweak the team a little bit and you have another chance to win, that's what they want. The drama and the, the, the soap opera and the, the stuff that's going on upstairs, like usually that never gets down and aired out like this. Never did on a team I was on. And, you know, they're going to have disagreements. People are going to yeah, have disagreements. Of I've had disagreements with coaches, coaches yeah. and, and management and so forth and so on and scouts and all that. It happens. And people have different opinions. But you work through it and you... And you you keep it in house. This mm -hmm. this is it's childish. I, I think it's an, I think they should be embarrassed. That's what I think. The whole organization <laughs> should be embarrassed because it's embarrassing. And there you to have read. it, Jack. I thought it was a parody. I thought it was I thought it was somebody a fake Twitter with that statement. To be honest with you, really. Huh? <laughs> All right. Well, listen. 
Let me just say that in the new era of the Twitter world, it's easy to get duped uh, on Twitter. <laughs> it has happened to me a couple of times in the last couple of days, just yeah. speaking from experience. So yeah. uh, you got to verify everything uh, these days in terms of what you see on Twitter. But, you know, let's let's get to some more some more positive news because right. everything in Toronto, it's like there's there's more there's more questions now than there was four weeks ago, yes. in my opinion. So uh, it's gonna not, it's gonna be a story for mm -hmm. weeks here uh, in terms of what the Maple Leafs decide to do in their front office, behind their bench, between the pipes, as you allude to, Brian Boyle. So uh, we'll see how it plays out, as they say.